Before the video starts, beware that if you are going to do this skip on your own DS and watching this video at the same time, do not do it. Please watch the whole video before you attempt the skip to understand the complex process of it. Thanks and enjoy. Ho! Oh, hello there, everyone. Welcome to the Jota Region Safari Zone. My name is Riali and I will be guiding you for this tutorial on how to instantly level up your Safari Zone in Pokemon Hard Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver. So the Safari Zone in Hard Gold Soul Silver was known to be a tough place with its time mechanic, making it harder to get rare spawns of Pokemon such as Gibble, Riolu, Bagon, Metang, and so on. Even though this Safari Zone's time mechanic isn't fully explored yet, or just not fully explained in a good way, it is working in an unusual way that's making berries affected by the growing process of the berry. But I'm not here to explain to you how all of this time mechanic works. I'm here to tell you how to exploit it to make rare Pokemon spawn in your area of the Safari Zone. So I'm going to explain to you the guide prep work, additional information, and the steps to skip days in the Safari. Now this guide is useful in many ways. In as advantages that don't involve the usage of a hack 3 ds save editing softwares, using emulators, any third-party flashcards, and so on. But before I continue from here, I need you to know that taking this guide to its full capacity is really needed. So it is up to you to understand that every step I explain needs to be taken to its full capacity. So let's dive right in what you need to get first for the prep work. First and foremost, you need a DS or a DS Lite, only one of those two and nothing else that comes from it, that doesn't even list it. Only a DS or a DS Lite, those are the models. Now you need a screwdriver for the back case of the battery. This is a process for everyone actually are afraid of it, but don't worry as long as you are not going to screw anything up by following this safe percussion guide. Just don't use anything that conducts electricity, fair enough. If you can't pull out the battery with your bare fingers, I suggest using a plastic card. Your credit card might be very appreciated. Now. Uh, you need a copy of Hard Gold or Soul Silver with the post game save with the national Pokedex given to you by Professor Oak at Olivine City. You need to be the Elite for, the elite for first. And then, you need the save to have all of Baoba's calls and mission done with. If you have not done with them yet, go do them. They are really frustrating because Baoba calls you every 3 hours and it is a long process. It can even take a day if you are trying to speed run through the process. Next you need a cornberry or any of these berries listed. Now I suggest registering the berry planner key item in your favorites for an easy access for the bottom screen menu. This is a really needed one, trust me. Alright, this is all the prep work that needs to be done with and to be over with. We can finally begin the process. I will now go to the DS camera. Right. We are on the DS screen. Uh, sorry for the camera, for my phone. But I will show you now the, the requirements you need to do first on the steps. You need to first choose areas. I chose these ones. Um, so I will show you now what's inside the area. So you can get an understanding, understanding on what can be done during the skip and stuff like that and some testing on the demonstration as well so first of all i have this place that is set up for everything here and i will be uh, shining onto gibble for spurry all right now we'll pop up a repel with a level 
40, I think. 43 uh, Chincha with Illuminate. Now, if there were, if this area was leveled up to the max with this trick, you would be getting a Gible here or an Aaron, but none, sh none shows up, so it means this area is not leveled up. So are the other areas. As you can see. So I don't have blocks on the five other areas that I own that I've placed at the moment. No, oh, I didn't want to go into the grass. Alright, so you get the idea. Alright. So now what you want to do is um, save your game that you have already chosen areas. I'm going to switch an area just to demonstrate that I'm also capable of switching areas. Yes, please say I have no idea about it. Choose this swamp or wetland. I think it is the wetland. And we save again. After you have saved, turn off the DS and remove the battery. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right. Back in. The game stays in the DS for the entire process. I forgot to mention that. And to unscrew the battery case. Also forgot to mention that. Now, this Nintendo logo you saw from before, I will point out, there, that needs to be there, that shows that the game is being written by the console, and that's a good sign we want, we don't want our game to not be written by the console. Alright, now set the date to the 12th of the 31st, the 31st of the 12th, I don't know, say it, the 31st of December 2099, color and name doesn't matter, also birth date doesn't matter. Now set the time to 23.58 and press confirm. Birth date I will put mine on the 1st of February because I like it that way. I don't like the sound of the DS to the bells. Now turn on the console and wait for the clock to turn over to 12 midnight. And we are in the next year. Happy New Year. Launch the game. And once you are in, we are going to plant the corn berry or any of the other berries that require 24 hours growth rate. As I shown before. Go in here to the planner. Choose the berry. I'm choosing my corn. Now save. And after saving, just wait 24 hours. Wait, actually 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, you are you need to go inside the game and check the berry if it's grown to a full tree. So we'll see you back in 24 hours. 24 hours later. Alright, I'm back. And 
we are soon going to hit the time mark 1201 the next day on the DS and here we go I will just do it quickly because I've been failing for the couple of times I've been trying to record this for this video of oh, this one failed this time I'm going to do it really quickly so I need to check the berry in the pot to see if it is a grown to a full potential yes it has I'm going to back out and save once I've saved I'm going to turn on the console and to pull out the battery Pulling out the battery. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bit more. That should be it. All right, now what we want to do is do the exact same stuff that we've done before but this time when we set up everything we want to be really fast and to go check the berry to see if it is gone that's what we want to achieve that the berry is gone within a minute time window 12 this is the date now we want to set to that time and to make everything right it is to open up the game as fast as we can and to go into the save as fast as we can check the berry if it is gone you have succeeded and you need to save immediately and after all of this is done within this one minute time frame it means you have been successful right check the berry pot and it is gone all right now save and that's it you have skipped time entirely and you have seen me you have not harvested the berry I forgot to mention that and now we go to the safari and I'm going to show you that you can now find Pokemon that we've placed blocks pre-set up and that you can place blocks now and still get upgraded Pokemon. So I will go here and try to find a Gibble using the repel trick that I've shown before on the start of the video. Go all for the repel. I won't need the white blood for this one. And I get an encounter right away. And that should be either Aron or Gibble. That's the Gibble! Time, skip, successful, really here. And now, I will go check uh, other areas to so see what we have in store that I've forgotten completely now by this stage. Let's open up the Pokemon calculator. Alright, so here. Well, we can have here. This is, I think, the desert. Let me check real quick. Right, night. We want the desert. Let's say we are 250 days. I will place, like, a couple of rocks. Now that won't work. Alright, so let's say with 230 days, with only 7 rock, we can get a trap each. So let's test it out. By regular means, with 0 days, we won't be even able to find a trap inch. I think that will that require 30 blocks to even get a hippopotas. So if we get a trap inch on 7 blocks, huh, listen to this. That would be amazing. 
either the hippopotas or the trap inch. But the trap inch is what you want to look at. So the repel is a level 46 for the trap inch. And I believe my chin chow here is uh, 44. So we are supposed to find an immediate trap inch. Alright, that's 5. Six and that is the seventh. All right, let's go do an encounter. All right, we got an encounter. Let's see if it is drop inch. It is the Popotas, but with seven blocks, and that's not possible in zero days. That's entirely not possible to do it with 7 blocks only and to get the hippopotas. It means we have skip time and these areas were 7 days old. It seems like this Chinchow doesn't have a extra level on it. But that's there, let's see if we can get lucky. Let's pop a white through this time and I will not be able to give. My sweet uh, Chin Chow. Uh, uh, rare candy. I check this again. Maybe we are missing something. I think we are just landing on the 50%. There we go. Here's our top inch. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Um, do exactly as I did in this video in the exact same timings. This is the best way it can be done. As we saw, it was pretty fast on this one. So you should do fast as well. Like slide speed. Alright, this was me, really, demonstrating the guide. Um, good luck on your safari week hunts and safari zone hunts in total. And I will see you on my next shiny videos or future random videos. Like this one. See ya.